Oh, we're late! All the heels on the pocket. Yeah, let's go. Take us to mid, James. Oh, baby. I'm gonna watch uh, Kiris for the first mid. That guy is crazy. But if you have just joined us, this is the ETF 2L Season 14, powered by Twitch Week 7 Premier Division fixture between Badlands and Granary. Kiris has rolled out from the house. He's trying to do damage onto Rib. We see a big Valley roll out, though. Oh, Kiris! Sticky's onto Rib and Tick. Fever onto Rib as well. This is looking like a BFF middle. Will the is... Mewling gets out just in time. Dallas, 40 HP, might eat a crossbow bolt. He does dodge that one. Mewling has survived, but that was just a big play from Kadis right there. Read that valley rollout very well, or just that little. It wasn't even a valley rollout, it was just a, a uh, bomb two in scouts, there. Two scouts playing like from the hoodoos there, and one soldier bombing in at the same time. And Kadis was really getting that initial damage on the scouts, making completely turning the tides. It looked like. The whole aggression thing would turn out in Broda's favour, but they got crushed there in the choke. No Uber yet Best. for Hat and Merlin has, for Merlin even, Hat has popped his off to come in to try and take out the Pyro, but they haven't even managed to get the Pyro, this is a bit of a fail Uber right now. They're not able to get time on the point either, there's a soul drop top spam and stickies Uber all pop. over, the Uber does come in, Quad and Hawks are down for BFF, and the health is super Kato low, Hat on 28, Kato on 1 HP, he goes down and this is just... A superb hold from Broder. Really nice there, really nice. Nobody really focusing down that pyro there cost them the push for uh, for Broder, uh, for BFF even. So they are now in the defensive position, they have two defense by here. And it yeah, looks like BFF, uh, Broder just taking it back really casually, just walking it in. BFF are trying to bait them out, you see them all just sitting on choke there, Demoman and two scouts waiting for somebody to jump in, but Broder are too smart for that. They have managed to lose two in the process though, Rib and Zebo are down right now, so even though they caught the Spire, they're gonna have to go back to last and rebuild that Uber, but Merlin isn't healing right now and Hat has charged, if they push on the button here, just go for it. They're yeah. gonna catch him. Pappy position right now, he's coming up the steps, if they jump in now, Merlin might make it to the door, he does get into spawn just in time, the Uber comes in, the sticks on point again, and Soldier and Tube. No Uber yet for Bruder. Bibbin's gone down, Rib goes down, BFF are making a good job of this so far, but Tech the remains. Flank. Really nice. First round to BFF. Surprisingly Woo! strong. Really nice plays here. Yeah, it looks like these guys have been doing their homework, and uh, Hat just coming out ahead of Merlin so often in these Uber versus Uber situations. Obviously, BFF got wiped on that uh, last middle, but... Uh, they just last seem to have mid, Uber uh, all the time. Last mid, Kedis just r was fast on the roller, then Rip. Not this time though. Nice initial damage on the scouts by Rip. He's... Oh, he's taking down with Dallas! Dallas. Big kills! But it looks like Brody's just focusing down the mid like, really easily here. Just keeping players out of the house, pushing them back. And it looks like a Broder mid. Really nice. Like, just how they turned that around. After losing Rip that early, they just focused the scouts. I think Rip just called that he w weakened the scouts really early at the fights and just that's how they turned it. Really nice uh, focus play by Brodo to get this mid. Yeah, I think that middle was a direct result of the previous middle. You know, they got ripped so hard when they went uh, aggressive, destroyed so hard, I should say. And uh, really, they just decided to sit a little bit passive. Dallas did get ribbed, that Two was unlucky. Down. Three people down for, B for Brodo here. <laughs> And still the Uber charge for both teams. Yeah, is pushing house. They can just pop on them really easily here. Oh, Bru oh Uber force early. Not even popped on BFF side. They will just milk it and go recycle on choke. Maybe. Oh, they're going house. Bro, no, this is a bad Uber. Merlin goes choked in, dodges back, and he gets pressured by a scout. Merlin gets caught with his pants down. He should have gotten out there. Zebo was calling for him to run. He was going to go in and force. He does get the force off, but he's lost his medic in the process. And this is a really, really shaky start from Broderips. Really, really mistakes that we usually don't see from Broder, especially Merlin overextending like this. They're staying way too long into mid, getting picked off. This is something we don't see from Merlin. He's the guy having unique and, and really just spot on positioning and movement, and that was it's really just surprising. We will see how they BFF are already through. The They've come through from Reese up here. They've managed to make it as far as Stone Bridge. And there's a, a player going behind here, I can see him on the outline, it's Hawks totally under tight, gets the pick onto Merlin! Hawks goes huge, but BFF have lost two, they're gonna back out here and maintain that Uber advantage. We see Hats in the house with Kadis, but he needs to start moving back, but he's gonna get bombed here by so Can't many Broder players, he's getting chased! He's on 30 HP, he makes it to the, the map like... Woo! Um, this head kid, really nice, just... Random movement, movement, really just like it, Marble would do it in every map. And now they actually pop into block mid. They're pop, popping the block, uh, the cap. Really nice. Getting rip here initially. 
And both of the soldiers have to retreat. Both of Broder's soldiers have to retreat to resub side. So they just hold mid with that uber pop. Yeah, and, and we they buy that Uber. forward spawn as well for Kiris. He's back exactly. in the game. They're gonna have demo man advantage here on choke once Kiris gets buffed up. They might push, but he's actually sticky in his own his own slope. He's expecting some aggression. It looks like BFF are gonna hold. And I'm not quite sure about that decision. They did have Look the man advantage there. Like, do you see the sticky trap night right next to him on balcony? Yeah. That's yeah. what he expects, like Zebo to go in. That's a really nice read. That's something I do against him that I try to when people fall out of mid that they go through house and I can catch them above. Sniper as well here. Sniper as well. We've got Beaver and Hayden on the little balcony on the balcony just Spotted? below there on the lip. No, definitely not. I think they're they just gonna lure that. them. They want them to push in. They yeah, want yeah. Brody to push in. Yeah, that's a nice bait play. Winning? Why not? We're gonna hold middle. This is uh, Gamesmanship 101. They're sitting here with the defenders' advantage. They're allowing the soldiers to come forward. They want them to come into that sniper line of sight. The Uber does get popped off. Both Enix popping off that Uber. There's a battle going on the flank. So and it looks like Bruders are destroying the flank. Both scouts down. Or sorry, both soldiers down for BFF quad down as well. They were pushing already. Haunter trying to get people there on, on Greybridge, but hadn't be, uh, hadn't. Cadiz will survive here to defend last. Yeah, I'm, I'm very doubtful of the contest the Spire. Kadis is actually, actually going to spam a few stickies up there. I don't think he's really going to commit to this. He's just seeing if he can get a pick, slow things down a little bit. They can't lose somebody here now for Spire. This is just vital for them to have six people on last, otherwise the round is lost. Kadis is in danger of being flanked here. He's hiding on middle. There's a soldier on the stairs. It's Tick. He's got one sticky there for safety. Tick does get back Zebo. off. He doesn't... Ooh, does get Zebo, but Tick could have got that... Uh, Kiris thick if he had this outline that plug in that I have, this dirty, dirty hack it. <laughs> you would never gonna, know the French gonna be a big, uh, too good. A big turtle effort here from Quad on Pyro Beaver and on Heavy. Well that pick they, on Zabo, that pick on Zabo prevented Broder from instantly using the Uber advantage of twenty percent. So it was a good pick for Kate. It's a risky play that he had to take. Had to play in the end. It, oh we got a counter heavy here from Zebasai. They've they've read it well. This is uh, great. One of the best ways to counter a heavy, I've got to say, Ips, is to run your own heavy, even when you're attacking. In comes that initial Uber. They're going to try and force do some damage here. Bottom. They will meet with Ebon bottom. There he goes. Recycle with heavy from bottom here. And now people have to flank from higher ground. They're not really flanking, so I think this will go to the first paper. Oh, God, up top. oh <laughs> we have a pivotal moment here. <laughs> Oh wow, that was just beautiful instant reaction from Bib, and as soon as that demo man pick came in, he knew there was no stickies on that point, man. He was going straight for that, and that was just like clockwork there from those scouts. No pun intended. And right now, I see Cadis rolling out house. Bibbin isn't even made it to middle yet. He's going slow on balcony. There's already two stickies there. Or sorry, Rib is super weak in the valley. He's on 50 HP. He is gonna go down. Bibbin cleans up that frag, and Merlin is horribly positioned here. He's in perhaps the worst possible place, but does manage to make it out through the valley as the bomb comes in there from Tech just to buy time to get their medic out. That was an important sacrifice, I think. It's yeah, they really just sacrificed for Merlin to get out of there, and it was a good play by the people that died for Merlin. Because once that medic is dying and you can't get their medic, that round is basically a GG and a loss already. Now they're losing people for Spire. Zebo already down. I think they will just fall back wisely. Yeah, they're falling back to last. They don't have charge to, to even to even play on Spire to even not lose people. So we will see. Nice turtle boy or a broader turtle now. I'm curious what will they do. They've Ubered early here, straight in, single Uber with Kadis up top. Merlin holds on to his Uber like a boss. He doesn't even have anyone to pop the charge onto, but he does eventually. He's gonna push a little bit with Zebo, but he knows he hasn't done enough damage to really push into five Second people main, here. Next, ah uh, he's falling back, he got spotted. He maybe get caught off guard. Ah uh, he's down. That is really vital now. Six versus five. I think BFF is going to utilize an advantage. Just muscling it in now, yeah. Completely gonna try dominant, dominant right side here. They're going for it. There's a soldier in behind. He's drifted in behind the point here. It's Dallas. Bombs up for it's that medic. Point. Straight on the Kate Merlin. Point. Kate has capped it there. Beating it. As soon as Rip detonated his sticky, Kate has just dropped on it and capped the point. This is really a fast paced game. I like it. Oh man, I'm loving it. I'm so pumped just to be here on TeamFortress.tv. If you haven't joined us, this is Admirable with Ips and Hui on the camera. We're here for ETFTL Season 14 Premier Division fixture between BFF and Broder BFF Storm. And I head to a 2-1 lead here. And we're on to another middle. It's Rib playing quite passively again from Balcony. Just trying to find Kadis there on the take BFF. Take on Take with a flank! He whips the air shot! And Almost the second, the the fat escapes. There's a scout coming under though. A scout comes up. It's Bibbin. He's onto the medic. 
One shot, two shot, Merrick down and Merlin survives. That's going to be an advantage here for BFF, but they did manage to lose the point. They're going to regroup, get heals here and push in with this Soldier Scout combo. Woo! Crazy Keep stuff. The it's. remaining people of BFF want to go for fours, but they're all falling back. And I don't think Delph is going to go for any, any fancy pans jumps here. Just Man, stand back. I, I am loving this uh, wall hack plugin. Let's me see all these clutch moments coming. Check out <laughs> once again to blue. This is pretty sick. Right now we do see BFF holding over the mana advantage. Beaver has just spawned, but he's not in the fight yet. I was wondering was he caught sniping as well? We got sniper there. On yeah, trash. already in lobby behind them. Oh, they've got that charge. They're tempted to pop off here. Tech is actually gonna go and use his buff in that Roma roll. He does actually just move out to in trash. to the trash. I think they would go. But Scurry in behind though. They're gonna get that force off. Merlin just. Takes a small shot there, I think he actually popped to save the soldiers and they walked in bottom right here before they've even capped the spire, but the spire cap will come in, they're already positioned on there, there's no demo man, no stickies on the point, they're gonna draw players on and try and do as much damage as possible, two big shots sure. from Pat! He's saying on 93, he needs to just get some of the healing to hold on to this, gonna there's get a it. on the point! Gonna get oh, it. clutch play from Pat, wow! I'm gonna have really an nice. aneurysm here, Ips. <laughs> yeah, really nice play, almost got the charge off there, so this is now... A risky situation for for BFF actually because if the if Broad is fast enough but they're not fast enough they spy, will not spy take take spy take spy where is he where is he let him find us under under the grey bridge under the stone bridge as we say in Europe and he's <laughs> just uncloaked here he might get a soldier on his head if he's not careful nobody's looking for him what's he disguised as here he's going in as the a scout he's, he sees that many guns he's he's got he's got the oh he misses the stack. Oh my god, that was unlucky and failed. That was failed. just bad aim, man. That was just bad aim, and my POV just missed. He just straight up missed. It man, wasn't I a can't bad give, rig. I can't tell <laughs> Rome is that place by that they're bad. I love it. I just love it. It just messes with people hats. He can now, like, even that he missed that stab now, which is not really good for him. EFF can never be sure if he's not going to try that again. And they will just be aware and always try to, to find him. Get pa getting paranoid, basically. Yeah, Hat got lucky there. Uh, it was just a flesh wound, nothing fatal. And uh, spy play has been discontinued. There will be no more spy from Tech. It's going to be cookie cutter, two soldiers, two scouts here as both well, big, teams. Big force here by Dallas. He forced it in, in the house. And BFF is just retreating nicely on this. Not losing another player. So it's Can a mid if they want. Bomb comes in though. It's Tech. On to Hat. Hat never pops Uber. He's just got nerves of steel. They have lost two players Push. in the process though, but they have that Uber advantage. If BFF. Oh! The flank at the same time. Beaver from underneath as the soldier bombs in. Merlin gets totally destroyed. Big play again from BFF, but they've managed to. Back cap, double back cap by the Get double Broder. back cap. <laughs> oh, we completely missed that. Will Kyoki go huge on Spy? Oh, he gets destroyed. Nice hold by Delph and Katie's there together. Woo! But nice uh, come out for, for Broder here. It looked like they, f they got forced so early and had to give up mid, but they just wrapped around and g went for the backup. A bit of an Epsilon play when you see them holding Spire with disadvantage that they send people onto, s onto mid behind you when you push it. Really nice play. Yeah, really keeping them in the game there. It looked like a desperate situation for Broder, especially when Merlin went down. And it's actually not an Uber advantage. Equal Ubers here. It's Merlin running crits. That's what I want to check just. In case I'm losing my mind, flicking through here, he is not, he's on the normal medigun. And it's going to be Uber versus Uber here as BFF probe towards the choke, they're actually walking in here. They've sent Dalith in to try and clear some space, get some attention. And Broder is scared man, they're backing out very quickly, I'm not sure if they realise what the percentages are at. Uber is popped, or is about to be popped I think from BFF, Zebo leading that charge. It's actually BFF popping off here, flashing a lot of people, Merlin counter Ubers. But Zebo's gonna chase this medic. I know he's gonna go for Hat. He's gonna get his man. Zebo is the sheriff. And <laughs> Hat has just been sent to the sin bin. It's two players up for BFF. Kadis and Dalith up against it here. They're gonna try and slow them down as much Kedis as they can. Kadis is ready to fire. jump. Is he going oh, through? He's... Oh, he's not hitting anything. He hits nothing. That's this is what I'm talking about. Well, yeah, I suppose he was up against it, man. But of your options there to try and hold against the team exactly. is uh, doing a hero bomb on the spire. The answer, probably not. Well, what what else can you basically do? Die on last, five versus. Was a nice play, like a, a nice try. Let's let's point it out like this. It failed completely. Again, he's <laughs> just putting, completely holding that house there and keeping Broder in the house. Look, they have so much point presence now. But 
squat down instantly, that's going to turn the tides here. Tech Tech from the flank here, he's been spotted though. Hawks has got his number and Dalith is taken out as well at the same time. So both rumors destroyed a hero Rookie bomb here from Hawks. Down. But yeah, the scouts of Broder just seem to be playing around Merlin much better than the uh, scouts of BFF. You know, they're more in, in uh, healing range, they're just playing together. They seem to be focusing down every threat that comes towards Merlin on that middle at least. There's a little bit of uh, a slower one from Broder. They're actually playing quite passive in middles, I think. Trying to yeah, wait for that Dallas pick. Like, uh... We saw in the first mid when their scouts initiated with a, with an aggressive soldier, it didn't work out for them. And now their scouts are just like controlling the flanks. I see Bimbin playing like underneath and or uh, even on shit house and Cookie playing a bit on um, under hoodoos, just controlling area and then waiting for Frex to come to them and following up damage. While it didn't work out for them to initiate in the first place, so I think they found their flow. We bring here soldier and scout in top right to go for their pyro pick, and pyro still buying vital time. A scout on the point? What's happening here, James? Oh, scout's still on the point! Victory. The <laughs> didn't they just, they just they... sacrificed people and, and stepped on it and off it and they just couldn't hold it. Yeah, Pretty sure couldn't hold it. Kiedis didn't realise there was a scout standing behind him shooting him in the back there on the point. It was a bit of a strange situation, but to be expected whenever they had that massive uber disadvantage. Didn't quite manage to hold on to it there, and it looks like we're going to see a valley roll out from BFF. They're mixing it up. We see a scout pressuring towards the shit house, and Soda Bomb coming in here double. Oh, two frags initially from BFF. I wasn't quite sure how that was going to go down, but a flurry of frags come in. Beaven picking up two. Hawks one on the tech as well. Merlin's gone down. Can Hat survive? Hat survived. That's very important. Kiris sacrifices there. His medic remains alive, it's a total wipe as well. Cookie just getting what a little happened? frustrated. I didn't really see it. What happened? What when I saw people dying initially for, for Broder there in the first place and that's our control point. Yeah, it was um it looked like it was gonna be a, a full rollout to the shithouse, but it ended up just being Soda and Scout going shithouse and everybody else played slope or they went up their own slope and they actually seemed to just destroy the players of Broder on their own train. Look at Broder here doing like an aggressive hold and getting Getting two picks, just delaying the Scout on the point! Wow. Watch, just reading it that they were doing a forward hold, rushing through main and back happening. This is really the a scout game, it seems. And it comes down to caps on Lars. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not sure if BFF had uh, read that one or was it just a bit opportunistic that it happened that way. But Broder trying to catch them off guard with some aggression and actually just made to look a little bit foolish there, Kiris. Has rolled out from house now, meets up with the rest of his team in Bali. Again, we see soldiers both bombing up at the same time, but a counter bomb onto the medic. Merlin dies instantly. Hat is with Kiris in the valley. He's going up against Tech here, Tech on 200 HP. He has an opportunity to kill the medic. He's not sure what he wants to be. Ops to jump up top, takes up into that high ground. One rock onto Hat. Hat surfs away in the, the dregs of that second rocket. Somehow makes it out. Tech is still going to chase though, Kiris. <laughs> the big pain train big kill there. Pain wow. train never stops. Was yeah, getting total tunnel vision there, uh, man. Kade's damage. Did you see Kade's damage on that mid? Was just huge. He was playing from slope, just had the perfect arc to rain, to rain damage onto the point. And while he was on like 180 HP, 160 HP, Rip was already down to 40, playing on for his life on his own slope. So that was really vital to the outcome of the whole mid. Yeah, I think it was sort of a, a little bit of misdirection as well. You know, Kade just rolled out. You? Oh, big reset push coming in, they're gonna pop off Uber Kiedis takes that Uber, jumps up top, he's getting denied, he can't be flashed up there, he's too high and he's behind a big steel wall, somehow he manages to survive, but does he? A wall rocket there from Zebo. but the, the damage has been done, they've managed to clear out the Spire, pick up three frags, they have an Uber disadvantage, but if they push right now, there's no demo man up, they can play that point just like they've done in the last round, they're gonna go for it, here comes the... The P and it's hot, Hawk, sorry, two Hawks and Hat from me, double soldier bomb, Maven gets forced! There's a sky on the point as well! Oh, brushes by it and gets out, almost. Is he gonna make out? No, he is down. He does make it out actually, he makes it out to the balcony. What and they got it? that force and pretty much survived as well. Just sacrificing two soldiers, decent, decent. Yeah, nice, nice play. Getting that force, but now being able to fight for a spire. With Broder lacking Cookie, which is a big deal for them. Especially on a spire retake, you always need your scouts and this team also always needs Cookie. A He's sniping through uh, from top left to Swan to main. Maybe he can get Cadence here. And they popped early. Sticking the point. He's sticking the point. He's looking for the scouts to go. Scouts on the point. 
He does go down, but he drags so many players on there. Kyrus' stickies were well positioned to do a lot of damage. And that's just a textbook push on to last there. They had to read that a little bit faster, I think. It's as soon as you see those stickies point, you've got to get men down there. You've got to block that. Just didn't react fast enough, and Broder are falling apart here just a little bit. On to another middle here, Ips. I'm watching Rib slightly slower than Kadis. Yeah, again, Kadis with the same thing as last time. Shows himself from high stand, starts to move slightly towards the valley. He's going to be up with his medic now. He's actually dropped back to the window, playing super passive. There's a scout on to his medic, though. That's Hat just sort of waiting around in the valley. I'm not sure the plan sort of fell apart there, but the position. He didn't have much cover. Demoman didn't see the scout in time. Cookie looks like he's just going to have a monstrous middle here. Picks up a final pistol frag there onto Quad, and I think that was pretty much all Cookie. I'm going to say it, man. Yeah, and it was a bit uh, failed coordination by the soldier bombs of uh, BFF. Like, you could see Rip again being so weakened on mid and doing the exact same thing. Dropping down into his own slope and belly, and while well, last mid... BFF, uh, Broder soldiers just, uh, BFF soldiers, sorry, just came in and destroyed him. This time they went for buff people on the, on the trains of, uh, Broder, which, uh, is weird and didn't work out for them, as we see. Just making, giving too much room to Cookie there. It's a deadly thing to do. <laughs> yeah, no one was really taking charge of that, uh, underside. Obviously it was Bibbon who got that initial pick onto Hat, then Cookie with the crit cleanup. Crits on Hat, crits on Hat. Give him full recognition. Defensive yeah, Hat, crits. the crits. Oh, they're gonna peek here. Crits against crits! It's crits yeah. versus crits! Oh wow, we're so bad Crazy. at this. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> and there's a guy on the point as well. 4-4. Four, four. Guys, well, Please. we need somebody to tell us that it's crits versus crits. <laughs> Give me a call on Steam if you see crits, Craig, guys. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> crits versus crits. We didn't miss one, but two crits. It's gonna be 4-4 four, four as we move into minute number 22. 23. It's gonna be Kira's balcony. Soldiers. Yeah, again, they're loving here. this valley rollout, man. Loving this valley rollout. The delayed bomb this time. They're waiting for their opportunity. Both will to jump up, but oh, big play from Zebo there. Absolutely stunks on Dallas. He got slammed into the ground Dallas there by an off. air shot. That guy is still alive. We're still alive. <laughs> Everybody of BFF was shooting at him, and that guy managed to get another pig. Absolutely huge. Wow. I was just picking up Zebo there, but it was Dallas who was the hero. And it's BFF, we pick up another medal. I the hero. I, uh, I'm not even sure how this game's gonna end, man. I was thinking this was gonna be a 20 minute game, 10 minutes on map. What's the score? BFF, what, how much time is left? 4 minutes, 7 minutes left. Or oh, sorry, 4, 4, 7 minutes left. Is it crits again? Greg is messaging me, crits, hats! Hats go crits! Crits! <laughs> Apparently, James went fucking crazy. <laughs> no crits for Merlin though, but uh, I wonder, will Broder read this, have they seen the telltale signs? They're gonna have to give up middle, only choke. temporarily. Kenny's wants to go from choke. All the stickies are on heist as well. Here on comes trouble. Oh Boom! my god! Three for one! <laughs> Three for one, that's sick, and they can just get Merlin in there, under the point. And now, if they... Watch out for that backup here. Look, Bibin is looking for that backup opportunity and he got spotted. Shut down, you know. Really nice play by BFF. Letting them just into mid without taking too much damage to then being able to recycle and just crits on them. Beautiful play. Yeah, man, that is a uh, crits.avi right there. That's going to be frag moving material. See, Dalith does manage to escape there with 14 HP. He's going to heal up, having done a little bit of work on the flank. But again, this crits advantage is in play. They've lost the element of surprise. There's a pyro here for Broder and it's really, you know they've got crits, what are you going to do? You're going to be going for that medic, right? Coordinated spam. Yeah, just keeping players out. Like, look at Bibbin's position. He's underground already. Bibbin's on right for free! Top left. Top right, yeah. They managed to dodge all the crits though. Kane is sucking out a little bit. Does get one. Just clearing stickies. Making everybody Ooh. turn around. And now they have the higher ground. The FF has the higher ground. But yeah. Chucky on full HP, that's not gonna work out. Still losing both of the soldiers. Cadis lower right. Cadis is going in bottom left. He's going left for it. He's going for it. He's Cadis. Ah, he got spotted early. He's not gonna go for it. He will try to survive to be able to defend Spire here. They have to force on Spire though. They're only still sitting on that Uber charge. And I really love that attempt, that attempt at crits from BFF. Like, Broder were so set up to just deal with it on the top right and the defender's perspective. They were expecting to come main or top right. They were just gonna dive in. But they just juked in, he went 
Kanis went top right, he missed his sticky, but it was just such a great idea. Very creative just to go right instead of left. I know it the sounds Uber simple when I say that. But the Uber does get popped off here and it's going to be a crit's advantage again Gather for Hatch. behind into lobby. And Delphys in main oh, as well. Oh, there's two going for the back cap. It's going to be two on one on the back cap. A scout of BFF is coming back to try and clutch it though. Cookie, can he save it here? He's two on one, he eats a rocket, surfs up into the air, gets get Cloud as well. Huge play from Cookie, clutch defense. I'm going to have a heart attack. Yeah, man. We're not going to get old as TF2 classes. <laughs> Our life is over when we hit 30. Chucky's oh, such a beast. He's so good reading that situation. Knows that he has to stay on a point. There's no way he can just stay out of it and try to get for this, trying to get for those two frags there, and really battles it out two on one. Great situation, great place. That's here again, like a Uber advantage, big Uber advantage for Broder and half of Spire Cap. So we will see them going forward. I reckon that. Uh, BFF is going for backup plays here, just buffing their scouts whenever they see Broder pushing in and then trying to make them flank. But the setup of, of Broder is really a defensive one with the heavy. The heavy staying on last. They're right, moving up forward as well. Broder are going to push off this man. They're going yeah. for it. They're not going to sit back. They're not going to let the Krog run down. Bearden needs to try and milk this Uber as long as he can though, and he's done a great job so far. They've taken position on the Spire, he gets bombed though, he's slightly separate, he's gonna hold on at 63 HP. Balls of steel from the man from Latvia there. Oh, scouts on last. Kiris okay. is jumping in, Kiris is jumping in, they have the scouts have got it! Huge wow. play, you called it, MC called it! You're a genius, man! And Kiris blocked the point for them? Yes, yes! Brilliant coordination play by BFF. <laughs> really, really, really good. Just nothing else you can say about that. Get me a towel, I just creamed my pants up. So we're going in to a three minute situation where it's a one round disadvantage here. Broder have to go for it in the middle. Rib is actually playing pretty passive. He's going to wait for his soldiers to come in and initiate. Broder coming up on the slope, but it's Valley versus Valley. And everybody's jumped away to leave Merlin slightly stranded. He's trying to be. Get out of there with Bibbin, but he can't Bibbin super weak. He picks up Bibbin just before he goes down himself to Hogs' his shotgun, but Broder are getting smashed here. Hat has gone down as well. Uh oh, uh oh, so rib, rib on the hog, Zibbo onto Dalith and Bruder. Just make me eat my words, curse of the caster. Never call it that soon, Oops, never call it that soon. Yeah, BFF got stuck a bit underneath uh, the bridge of, of middle there. And uh, basically, the first bomb of tech failed, but then Zebo just walked down that slope and got head in that late fight and a lot of damage onto people that were stuck underneath the bridge. Who's got crits? That's what I want to know. Yes, yes, it's Merlin. 40% <laughs> on that crits Craig hat just with 30% and that's going to be a pushable advantage with this crits. They're going to have it before they have Uber and we see the position of BFF. It's very far back. They've got to be expecting this they crits. Know I know it. I'm yeah. overly they paranoid know. about it but this is exactly the situation where you should expect it. Look at two minutes left, two Go minutes left. In. Just going to totally give up Spire. The stickies of Kiris are in position here. Lower right, it's a big trap. He doesn't... Ooh! Amway misses! It wasn't weird. called, it wasn't called because Moon was just going to walk through there but the timing was slightly, slightly off. They picked up two frags so they're going to be able to push this. They have to push it before Kadis respawns. This is their biggest advantage right now. No demo man even though they're up against Uber. There's a and soldier, a behind... has to go back to last. He's on resub side, he has to go back to last. And he is. Nice. Right. Scout on a point! Oh, that's risky. Uber comes in as well from Hat, a little premature. Oh, this is making it very now. interesting. Crit's advantage. But the crits, Look it's at a total gamble, man. Right. Tech's lower right, hiding on the oh. sign, waiting for that scout to pick out to get that frag lower right, which will completely turn everything around if they get it. Here comes the crits. They're gonna leave with the shotgun, crits! Tech's on a point! <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> such a nice distraction here. Crit scout, crit scout! not get anything done! And that's an Ubersaw on hat onto the Cookie's still alive! Hat with two, he gets rib as well, and looks like... Zebra's eyes bite. Zebra's eyes bite. But they will just push out on Spy, I guess. Or Turtle. Uh, How much time is on the well. clock? It's uh, 40 seconds left here. It's a crits again from Merlin. He just has enough time to get a crits and use it. Zebu is going in, still making right. the Spy play. He's going in. They've got to be wondering. They haven't seen a soldier. This is going to be called by their scouts that are pushing out there. They don't see that soldier. Watch out. He's uncloaking now. It, They're distracting from main. That soldier on the point is unaware. He's and on the point! Sticks and get broken, we know the points will wait right there scout coming in, bottom right, scout coming in! Oh he gets shut down by Dallas there, he's got the flank covered, I thought that scout was gonna get the point. Heck is going coming in, in bottom right. right. Walking on the point. Look at him. Together with Moe! Oh my god! Oh walking my god! Point. He gets it! 
What a game! <laughs> These two guys. Go to a golden heroes. This could be the game of the season, man. Game of the century. Game of the century. I hope that one before. Oh wow, wow, wow! What a nice play. Just did you see that? Usually in that situation, you see a lot of medics just bailing out, but Marlin was aware that he had to go all in because otherwise they would have lost the map and they had so much distraction for that heavy and that soldier in the end that they just wiped it. But was it a two versus three situation? Medic and soldier against uh, a, a, heavy, a, a medic. heavy, a medic and a demo. Or maybe it wasn't a medic. Oh wow, anyway. We'll, we'll see it in the replay, but that was crazy. If you have just joined us, this is TeamFortress.tv with Admirable Ips and Hui on the camera. We're here for ETL Season 14, powered by Twitch Week 7 Premier Division. This is map one of that game between BFF and Broder. This is Badlands, and we predicted a strong Broder victory. That has not happened yet. Really surprisingly strong BFF here. Um... I don't know what it comes down to. I feel that on mids, just Kate is out damaging and like, yeah, just out damaging Rip and ha giving so much room to his team and damage to follow up. Sometimes just turns the mid into their favors, and that what that's where they create momentum that they carry to last. Their scouts, of course, the scouts with their uh, synchronized backup, they're going behind on the buff, killing that heavy and. While Cadiz is blocking Spire was just out of the textbook, really just the way you play TF2. Beautiful. Yeah. And you're with the Euro rule set, this is just one of the little facets of ETF2. This is what we call a golden cap. If it's drawn after 30 minutes, we go into a 10 minute round where first to cap wins, or if after 10 minutes no one has capped, whoever holds middle wins. So that might come into play after the first five minutes when we see teams turtling up. But on to this middle, we see Cadiz is going to go balcony this time. Both demo men. Rolling out to Balgany, they're playing it safe, no one's going to take a big risk here. A bomb comes in from Dallas, he skip jumps off the shithouse, straight onto Rib here, but he hasn't managed to pick up the frag, he's managed to take the demo man out of the, the equation so far. Rib does get that frag onto Dallas, but meanwhile Cookie onto Claudia, scouts go toe-to-toe, -to -toe. Tech walks in on Choke, separates BFF's combo from the rest of their team, the hills are out of there, Kiris survives as well, it's Hat and Kiris now, trying to buy time. They picked up Merlin though, that's an important frag, did not see that one, Ips, how did he die? I have to agree, uh, I have to admit I just dropped from the STV, I'm really sorry for that my friend. <laughs> <laughs> no problem man. And you little, night, you just I'll just go, uh, go caster mode man, and just so that you know exactly what's happening. <laughs> the play for the Spire there but they didn't have a medic Vivian and they've actually managed to force Sorry. the Uber off. Hat has popped off, he's got 20 HP, he's gonna pick up a med pack and I've heard there is crits. My boy Greg is messaging me on Steam. Thanks Greg. 50% crits for Merlin right now. This is a big day. And Bruder sitting here on middle. BFF think it's going to be a non Uber push here, like no Uber for either team, but the crits is almost in. It's going to be up in 10 seconds or less. Yeah, big bombing killing, comes in from tank. Oh, Kiris! Kiris puts up Zebo! Oh he has money to get Merlin! Kiris with a huge, very aggressive play. Manages to come out on top. Tech is trying to get hot. He forces him onto Bibbin's scatter gun. And Bibbin is the only man alive. That looked like it was gonna be a great situation for Broder. Didn't work out so well. Just Bibbin is still in there. Oh, he's crazy play from Kiris, man. Crazy play. Broder did not calculate that one. They did not expect that to happen. He just knows that stuff. He was doing exactly the same thing before with the crits. Retreating and then trying to get back in show with the crits, so he's aware that he can't just let him walk out of mid uncontested. And then he goes in. That's what I was talking about in the pregame. His aggressive jumps. But did they know? Like did they know it was crits or was it just a Maybe crazy ball? Even, even if not, they were out of position, all clammed up in Shogun. It was the perfect scenario for him to use his full buff just to go in and cause massive damage. BFF coming out on top. Merlin has died as well. I think I missed that one again, but he has respawned. And it's going to be a big advantage for Hat. It's going to be normal Uber for both medics, I believe. But Hat will have his at least 20 seconds before Merlin. And right now we see Broder with their backs up against the wall. Cookie's going to snipe. We've got Tech on Heavy and a Pyro from Bibbin. It's Highlander here. Six is Highlander, as we see every class represent it. Yep, most. For top in for that pyro they're focusing down the pyro now and now playing on the point quad is gonna die for it Ooh. luring everybody off the high Kiedis, ground Kiedis comes in bottom gets oh piped by rib to kind of that BFF. there's a scout really on the point nice. everybody gets everybody from broder drop down nobody yeah. really wants to flank they got dominated top left 
And that's it, man. That's the golden cat. BFF for the big upset here. I'm eating my hat right now. Yum, yum, yum. That's going to be an interesting one now. Granary, like, um, the FF is going to take so much momentum out of that. Whoa, I whoa, think whoa. It's just you, don't you think? Like, that's let's good not, for them. Let's not they talk were... about Granary, man. I'm going to ask you real quick, who was your man of the map? Who was the big performance there in Badlands? Hello? I don't want to <laughs> give it to Cadiz because of their crits, because I don't, like, crits, crits is lame, like, crits is easy. But let's say, like, Cookie again? I saw him doing, like, important stuff on left and right again. Just, I don't know. You tell me. Maybe we ask I think just, just the fact that... Thing? Uh, Kiedis seemed to have Rib outclassed on middle. Just the speed, a couple of seconds there, like Rib's the guy who invented the Badlands rollout, some people would say. Kiedis seems to have mastered it, or his, his plan on middle seemed to be true. more effective than using the demo man. Yeah, let's really... give it, we're gonna give it to Kiedis just for enabling the mids for his team there. Just And various other big plays, mean. that big crits, the bomb in there against the crits the and the golden cap. We forgot the, about block the block on Spire, yeah. so many big plays man, Definitely this guy Kiedis. is a big game player. <laughs> and this uh that's been the first map there of this ETFTL season fourteen powered by Twitch Week Seven Premier Division fixture between BFF and Broder. This has been admirable with Ips and Hui on the stream. We just saw BFF take the first map on a golden cap five to four. That's gonna net them two points and Broder get one for that under the ETFTL scoring rules. And we're on to the second.